A cop? A teacher? So I could have the people safe to teach kids? First grader D'Angelo and kindergartner Sebastian are kids with big dreams. <laughs> but to turn their dreams into reality, they'll have to overcome the challenges of growing up in a low-income community in Denver, where the U.S. Department of Education says the dropout rate is five times greater than that of their peers in middle and high-income areas. This is because low-income communities lack the resources needed to give students a quality education. Without the right resources, kids aren't getting the attention they need to succeed. Educator David Singer experienced this firsthand as a high school math teacher. How did she grow? Freshman mathematics was really challenging when scholars or students at the time, when I was teaching them, uh, would come in the door three, four, five grade levels behind and, and the vision was you're going to take AP calculus, but really you weren't because you didn't know your multiplication tables and you were 14 or 15 years old. Falling grade levels behind in both math and reading is a problem, one that Singer says starts at an early age and only grows worse in time. What appeared to be the obvious answer, at least when I concluded it, was what if you started when kids were significantly younger and instead of fixing the problem down the road, actually solve the problem before it happens. To do this, Singer founded University Prep, a tuition-free public charter school in Denver, operating with the unique motto, college starts in kindergarten. And for us, it's, it's about being literal. It's about making a statement that the only acceptable outcome for all of our children is a four-year college degree. And what they do with that is totally up to them. To achieve this outcome, university prep teachers begin the day by greeting their kindergarten and first grade students, or as they call them, scholars. Good morning, David. After breakfast, the scholars meet with their teachers to go over homework. Then Mr. Singer helps get them motivated for the school day with a little song. Once they're in the classrooms, scholars are taught to sit in star position to show they're ready to learn. How they sit, active participation, and what they call tracking Eyes, track, Mauricio. are practiced throughout the day to teach the scholars routine and discipline. Two things that university prep feels help keep the scholars on track. At this stage, it's amazing the structure they have. Jessica Galen and Andrew Percival are D'Angelo and Sebastian's parents. When they enrolled Sebastian for kindergarten, he was already behind in grade level reading. The sandwich was, was, was like, below. He was, below. he was really below. But a nine hour school day, a huge emphasis on literacy and math, and strong parent teacher relationships help scholars like Sebastian improve. I did see the teachers were very, very committed in helping him, and they would communicate with us in regards to what they needed. This communication is just one part of the equation. The school combines academics, character building activities, and the vision of a college degree to create a successful learning environment. We like it. We like it. He had an amazing improvement and from the beginning of the year, so now he is where he should be. Before Sebastian was where he needed to be, his parents say college felt out of reach. Realistically, in regards to the schools that I knew in our area, it was like, we're lucky if our kid makes it through high school. Now that D'Angelo and Sebastian are on track academically, their dreams have a fighting chance to become reality. What was such a dream and seems so far away becomes really concrete. Because every morning they climb the mountain to college, like figuratively, but they're climbing at the cafeteria tables. And because every time they don't speak up, someone says to them, please use your college voice. And because when they're tracking their reading performance, um, they're moving up their graduation cap on the mountain to college. This constant reminder of college is also seen in the hallways decorated with university flags, all of which enforce the possibility of college in a community where families may have never even considered it.
but now... It's not just, oh, maybe they're going to make it to high school. I feel like they are going to go to college due to this school. We are so thrilled that families like Sebastian and D'Angelo's family are willing to take a leap of faith with us, right? That you have to, at the end of the day, deliver on your promise. And what's really challenging is we sit in every living room. We do a home visit with every single family and sit in every living room and say, your baby will earn a four-year college degree. And that's a really hard promise to, to hold ourselves to, but it's the only one we're really interested in making. As Sebastian and D'Angelo, their parents, and University Prep continue to work together, each day leads them one step closer to a college degree. Michelle Totiv, News Team Boulder.